Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of Him. What did we just read in Revelation? The unsaved masses will say, who is like the beast? And they'll follow after a satanic charlatan, right? A liar, a fraud, a fake. When the Bible says, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of God because he's the creator. I want to ask you a question. If you have a Bible, circle it in there and ask yourself this question. Am I living in awe of God? Because if on a daily basis you will force yourself to get into the Bible, quit looking at all the world circumstances and personal circumstances, get into the Bible, remind yourself who God is, and say, today I'm going to live in awe of God. He's going to be the biggest thing to me because he is the biggest thing. And then let everything else fall into place. Amen? If you want to avoid being tricked by Satan, you have to live in awe of God Almighty. And in order to do that, you have to be in his word, reminding yourself of the truth. 